Good morning. morning. Good morning. Hope everyone's well today. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. And ring the bell. And ring the bell. Well, today we're uh, out doing two, two things. We've awoken the uh, van from its winter sleep early we think this year because the weather's been quite good hasn't it yeah you yeah. know it's a it's a it's a lovely day today if i just show you outside it's quite it's a beautiful day nice and bright nice and, and bright sunny. we're not uh, too far from home and uh i've checked all the oil all the fluids tire pressures you know because i'm for uh, just to make sure everything's okay and uh We've had a little ride out. I've, you know, checked the brakes as we've gone along. Everything seems okay. All it looked in all, you know, all the cupboards. Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely to be back in the motorhome really. again. We've been fed up staying at home, yeah. we, although we're not actually going away until March in the motorhome. Uh, we've missed her, so it's great to be back in her. It's freezing though. <laughs> we got to warm her up. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit cold <laughs> so we've today. We've kept our coats on at the moment. But the other thing we were we were looking at is uh, me driving the motorhome, weren't we? Dun, da, da, dun, da. Well, what, what we've been thinking is, uh, and it'll, it'll be for a lot of people as well, you know, I drive all the time. I drive everywhere. And, you know, the family joke is drive, d drive. <laughs> Di has driven the van. Uh, I've turned it round. Turned it round and she's driven it about four foot. You know, <laughs> that's the family joke. I, do you drive the van? Yeah, I once drove it about four foot. Yeah, Big joke, yeah. you know, we've all enjoyed it. And I, and I love driving, so it's no problem. But, but recently I've uh, sprained my, well, I've got a bit of an aching knee, sprained my leg. And I thought, well, if that happened to me and we were away somewhere, you know, or even in France abroad, and I doesn't really, isn't confident driving the van, Perhaps it's now time to... Uh... Yeah. I mean, I've always said, oh, if I had to drive it, of course I yeah. could. But it is a big vehicle and I yeah. probably would smash it. And we're thinking, isn't it sensible now to have a little practice so she'd feel a little bit more confident? So I'm having a driving lesson. Yeah. So we, what we're going to do is we've come on a... Where we live, there's little back roads that you can go down not much traffic. We're going to have a little run down there. We're also going to... We're on a, a site now... Uh, where you can practice a little bit of reversing, so she needs to reverse it, just to, just as a little insurance policy. Just in case, yeah. Just in case, like you know, like we're all in the same you know position, aren't we? Really, mm. Mm. you know. And if what what happened, something happens to your main driver, it's nice to know you've got a reserve driver, yeah, isn't it? Really, and lots of you do drive. I know that because yeah. do take it in turns, and it's it would be nice really for me to be able to share the driving yeah. too when we do. Yeah, you do, you do see a lot of women drivers, don't you? you really, do. I mean, yeah, it's not a sexist not, thing, is it? That's really? not a sexist thing. It's say, just us. Let's say if you if you know any couple, yeah, any couple, you know. Uh, any gender, you have a reserve driver, and perhaps sometimes you, you need a little bit of a practice. Yeah, you, you shouldn't really? really rely on one person driving all the time. No, it's for not. For the reasons no, we've said. Yeah. If they're poorly, you know, someone else needs to take over. And it also gives us a chance, like we say, to bring the vehicle out, see if she's running okay. I know that uh, when you know we we're fortunate where we can park our van on our own land, and it's plugged in all the time. A lot of you people are going to be parked up on. Uh, uh, storage, storage, storage sites, sites yeah. where you probably won't have electric supply yeah. to your vans. So, yeah, you know, I don't particularly know about this because I'm not. And then you're going to need, you might be needing these uh, boosters to start your motor up again. Mm. You know, but uh, or you might be out using your motorhome properly. Yeah, yeah. like you should, like we <laughs> should be, really. Travelers, yeah, like we but, should be doing. But we can be quite busy people with with yeah, all the things. We are sometimes, busy. We, we are running a small business as well, yeah, so, so that takes up our time. Yeah, we quite invite, envy these people who are out and all the time. Although, I don't know whether in the really cold weather we'd want, particularly want to be No, out we, we are fair weather people, as you've already guessed, yeah. really, from our previous posts. We yeah. do like the sunshine. We have got uh, 10 weeks yeah, ten booked weeks already booked. on sites. Whoa. We're going to... Uh, uh, we're going to Dorset, Dorset first. Dorset first. In March. Then we're going to uh, Northumberland. That's, yeah, the Northumberland. Northumberland. Then we're going down to Devon. Yep. Then we're going to Wales. Yep. Then we're going to... Uh, Blackpool. Blackpool area. Let's yeah, call it Lake District. Area. Let's call yeah, it Lake District. <laughs> we're going to call that one the Lake District, shall we? We're a bit snob. We're going, to, we're going to the Lake District. We might call it Blackpool. We don't we can get some of those fish and chips we've heard about. <laughs> but that's where we're going to go. We're going to... Uh, and we've got all, all 10 weeks are already booked. We've placed the deposit on them all. Yeah. We've paid, we've paid we pay, one yeah, off. Yeah, we've had to pay one off. One's paid. 
Yeah. And so, also we've got a cruise in November that was had to be rearranged during the COVID time. Yeah. So we are off to the Caribbean in November. So, so we might we've be got having a lot to look forward to. Yeah, it's going to be a good now. year. Hopefully, if hopefully, everything goes, fingers, you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed for, us for all. everybody yeah. and uh, for yeah. everyone, you know, all, all everyone's plans. Yes. But I think it's now time for Diane to take up the driving <laughs> seat. Are and, you ready uh, for a laugh? And we'll have a little, <laughs> little, a little run down the road and see how we go. Okay. See you in a while. Right then, Mrs. Lee. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, if you'd like to uh, start the engine. Check. Is your seat in the right position? Yep. And... Uh, Where's the handbrake? <laughs> if you engage first gear and release the handbrake. We're going to be turning right now. By the way, I taught all my family to drive. With yeah. no, none of them had any lessons, except no, I really. But uh, here we go. This is a lovely uh, open road, free of traffic that we're going on to do our little test. What does it feel like, Dodge? So far, so good. It's very much like a car. There's no obviously. You can't see out of your rear view mirror. Obviously. No, obviously you can't see out of your rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Mirror. <laughs> mirror. But uh, yeah. Here we go. You feel quite comfortable, do you? Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. You've just got to be wary of the height and the width of the vehicle. Yeah. Bit of a bit of a bumpy, bumpy old good. road. This is. It's a, it's a, an old airfield. This is World War Two airfield that's been turned into a little of a back road. But uh, ideal for what we want to do today, isn't it, Di? Yeah. Oh, Di is operating the right, winch. We're stopping in now. Indicator, Diane. Yeah, indicator's on. Right. If let there's, there's some there's a car coming it's over now. Around, so I just thought I'd let him. Yeah. Let him go. Yeah, that's, yeah. Here, here it comes. Up the airfield. About, well, there's one coming down. Yeah. In front of Strange to think the old Lancaster bombers used to take off from this little place here. Yeah. Here in down here, on you know, in the Second World War, doing what they had to do. Right. Okay. Again. Off we go again then, I think yeah. we're all clear. There's no, there's no clutch difference or accelerator difference much from a car, is there really? No, no. It's just, it's just the size, isn't it, like you said. Yeah. It's got to, it's got to be very careful. And you feel quite comfortable. Feel okay, yeah. Driving yeah. it. That's yeah. That, right, that, we'll stop it here and then we'll do some manoeuvring then, shall we? Uh, no, well, I thought we'd go around a little bit and then uh, if we can go around, pass these cars, see how you go on with oh, passing yeah. cars. There's <laughs> <laughs> a place where motorcyclists and people meet up for a cup of tea and chat. Nice little place down here. Now, slightly narrower road that we're going on to now. Lincolnshire's full of these sort of places where, you know, not many people are around. It's the beauty of Lincolnshire, you don't get. Uh, you don't get a lot of tourists, truthfully. You don't see much traffic. I mean, this is a weekday, obviously, but uh, single track road. This will be interesting, Di. I yeah. don't know whether we should have gone down here, really. How, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, let's see how we go. I think I'll go fast so, yeah. so I can get down to the bottom yeah. before <laughs> anyone comes, comes along. <laughs> If you like to change gear, Mrs. Yeah, it, it does help, doesn't We it? do have one or two in there. <laughs> <laughs> With a sarcasm there. No. <laughs> it, wait, obviously, when you're going along, you have to watch uh, overhanging trees, an, an issue that yeah. isn't... <laughs> I wasn't doing that. I know, isn't relevant <laughs> with... Uh, when you're driving a car, obviously, you're not bothered by such things. But with a van, and, and you don't want your van scratching, it's very much a problem, isn't it? Lots of molehills down there. Yeah. There we go, a little bit tighter road here. This is good practice for you, this is die really. Just, just avoid those trees yeah. there. Nice bit of practice for you, this is, isn't it? Is, isn't it? What a beautiful place. This is looking out onto the uh, onto the fens, all the flat land, we down down towards the coast really. The coast is quite about 30, 30 miles away, but uh, in the general direction of the coast. But it is a lovely place. Lots of little campsites around here as well, if you ever yeah, if, you you if you turn to the right, to the right. yeah, in that way, okay. blanking fence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, look, beautiful scenery around here. And uh, 
Well, this is this this will give you an idea of usually how when you go up to uh, uh, campsites, the sort of roads you encounter, won't it? It's really, quite muddy, isn't it? With yeah. weather at the moment, it's uh, definitely going to get the van dirty. Yeah. You're doing very well, Di. Very well, very well. Oh, don't very speak impressive. Too soon. Yeah. You'll jinx it. I oh, know. I won't be <laughs> jinx it. It's if we uh, get, a, get a car coming in the opposite direction, we're going to be in this trouble. The sun is very low as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a beautiful here. day, though, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, stunning it's day. Really nice. Yeah, I think if we pull up here, we can perhaps reverse round into okay. into uh, this place here. And if you can get a bit of practice of reversing, can't you? If you pull for, go forward, stop, then reverse down into that, if you Still like. There. Yeah, go straight up that little track. Yeah. There. Up there. Yeah. Go straight up. Go forward, oh, forward, yeah. forward. Well, you've got a big vehicle you behind you. Oh, right. that's yeah. Trouble, so. Is that far enough? Do you think? Yeah. Would you like me to go outside and watch you? Or? Uh, yeah, you'd probably better. Give right, me a shout. Right. I'll, I'll uh, just nip outside. Just get out there and give you plenty of shout. If you want to drop your windows down, die. Yeah. Right then. Here we go, Dice, first reverse of this van. Nice and gentle, Dice, nice and slowly. Control, you don't need accelerator, just let it roll. Roll on the brake. Sharper turn, Dice. Turn it harder. Turn it harder. Ah, that really is very good, Dice. Well done, well done. You feel okay with that? Right, you're doing really well. It's difficult with the size of the vehicle, Yeah, it is. The length of the vehicle. We'll head on our way now, back up the same way we came, shall we, Di? Yeah, I'll take you back, shall I? Yeah, if you can. It's. Uh, you feel okay with it? Do you feel... Yeah, fine. Just a short uh, taster of driving with this such a big vehicle. And then perhaps when we go, in a, we go away places, just take a little drive now and again. Yeah, I think so. I think that would be the sensible thing to do, don't you? Yeah. Really? I think that would be uh, ideal for this situation, wouldn't it, really? I think so. And, uh, well, again, if you like what we're doing, you know, in our... Uh, subscribe and ring that bell. Yeah, subscribe and ring the bell. And... Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. 